We're gonna clown Dr. Phil. We are literally about to go on TV. This is a little sneak peek on what goes on behind the scenes. Getting hair and makeup done, right? Nice job, sir. Thank you, Dr. Phil. Thing, boys, this is actually happening. See you guys, wish me luck. But have the upside if you just challenge yourself to do things. Father! This man apparently jacked all his dad is not a gray hair on his body. Not a gray hair on his body, boys. <laughs> Daddy! Yo. Daddy, I missed you! <laughs> What's poppin'? Are you hyped for Dr. Phil, baby? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You come on down, boy. It's Dr. Phil time, baby. Let's go, boys. Dr. Phil time. Let's get it. Daddy, you're in LA. Let's go. Are you hyped for Dr. Phil? I'm nervous for you. Boys, we're going on Dr. Phil. What? I want to make sure it goes well. Boys, we about to get dropped on Dr. Phil. Tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., we have to be at the Dr. Phil place. And hopefully, Daddy Dr. Phil can help fix me, you know? Because apparently, I'm a psychomaniac. And I need Dr. Phil. I need Daddy Dr. Phil, boys. Welcome, Father, to the Goat LA Fam house, boys. Isn't this dope? This is Gavin's content house. What is it? Gavin's content house. What did he say? My dad just flew in from Arizona. Even though we're from New York, my dad just flew in from Arizona because tomorrow morning, we are going on Dr. So my dad flew in from Arizona because he was playing golf in Arizona. That's why he had like a whole golf club set. And tomorrow morning, guys, we're going to be going on Dr. Phil. My mom can't come because like restrictions and they weren't able to fly her in from New York because of that. So she's going to be doing it over Zoom, guys. And yeah, guys, this is crazy. Literally tomorrow is the day where I'm going to be going on Dr. Phil, guys. So stay tuned. Drop a like, subscribe. We're doing the whole behind the scenes. No one's ever filmed anything like this video before, guys. So make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and notifications on because there's way more videos on this to come. See so yeah, guys. Hey, yo. Sorry. So dad, tomorrow we are going on Dr. Phil, right? Yes. Let's go, boys. Hopefully daddy and Dr. Phil will help fix me, boys. So stay tuned for that, guys. There's no fixing you. There is no fixing you, that is facts. I am not changing. This is just free publicity for me. So shout out Dr. Phil for the free publicity, boys. You already know. Guys, make sure you all follow me on all my social medias. They will all be on the screen right there. Go follow me on all those. Leave hate comments on my Instagram. I don't even care, boys. Go show me some love on all my social medias, guys. Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, all that good stuff, boys. Let's go. I'll be following everybody back that follows me, DMing you guys, answering your DMs. So make sure you guys show some love on my social medias. Earlier today, guys, someone that worked at Dr. Phil actually came to the door to pick up my merch, my Karen merch, because they want to put it on the show because they think it's fun or they think it's crazy, I have no idea, but they just want to put it on the show, which is super dope. So guys, go cop the merch. Link to the top description down below, guys. You already know, it is some banger merch. So go cop the Karen merch, it is super funny. Everybody thought it was funny. Hey guys, tomorrow is the day where I'm going on Dr. Phil. I have no clue what he's gonna say, I have no clue what he's gonna do. We are all super, super nervous, guys. This is gonna be absolutely insane. So yeah, guys, tomorrow is probably one of the biggest days of my life, and I'm actually super, super nervous, because Dr. Phil is probably gonna make me look like a complete D-bag, boys, but hey, I'm doing it for you guys. I'm Loki, I don't even care, like I'm not gonna change. I'm not a bad person, I don't think. I do everything for the content. Content, but I don't think I'm a bad person. I don't harm anybody with my content, but we'll see what Dr. Phil thinks about it Because I have no idea what he's gonna think about it, right? He might no idea. guys and apparently they got the Karen to go on Dr. Phil also So this is gonna be the absolute craziest video ever So if you are new here guys, make sure you subscribe with notifications on and make sure that they are set to all So you don't miss crazy videos like this because I have no clue what's going on with this whole situation But tomorrow guys my dad and I are gonna be waking up really early and heading over to the Dr. Phil set and basically going on Dr. Phil with Dr. Phil so it's gonna be super dope guys So stay tuned for that and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Let's go all right, boys, so it is currently about 6 in the morning the next day, and it is time to pick up my dad because he's at a hotel right now. And then we're going to head to the Dr. Phil show, boys, so it's about to get lit. Today's the day. I'm super nervous, but hopefully Dr. Phil doesn't roast me too hard, boys. Let's go. All right, boys, so we just got to the studios, all checked in and everything. Now, apparently, a golf cart is supposed yeah, to come pick us up. Take the camera down now. Right. Yes, sir. Dr. Phil, daddy, is all right. Hello. Hello. I'm gonna need you guys to sit in the back. Sounds good. Uh, and I'm gonna take you to go get tested right now. The process usually takes like 20, 30 minutes. Okay. okay. Swabby, swab, swab. In New York, they stick it in really deep. Oh, I love the deep ones, boys. I'm sure Dr. Phil likes it deep also. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Guys, we're gonna clown Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil's gonna come at me for my videos, but my dad's gonna be like, uh-uh, Dr. Phil, uh-uh. What? Dr. Phil. So nice, I needed that. <laughs> I honestly needed that to start my day. Dr. Phil, baby. Get hyped, sir. Dr. Phil. <laughs> the are laughing. Yep. So the audience are much of the Yep. <laughs> Catch me outside, how about that? I'm gonna be like, shut up, Karen's oh, Dr. No, Phil. People get tired of that. Bro, she has 18 million followers. Oh, okay, I have to got? use this, Dad. I have to clown Dr. Phil. I'm not a bad person, but I have to clown Dr. Phil and get a viral video. Well, there goes your water. Hey, at least you got a power aid. I don't want a power aid. Oh, well, you get what you get. I Dr. Phil's words, you get what you get, you don't get upset, boy. I don't drink power aid. I'll drink it. All right, boys, so no c for us. We passed the test. Now it's time to go to the dressing rooms and get ready for the show. Let's go. 
Dang, Dad, it says your name. This is so professional. Do you want your uh, apple? I prefer your you. Your good luck apple? Thank you, sir. <laughs> good luck, man. I'll have you right in here, okay? What? It says my name again. Let's go. Thank you so much. And then if you need anything, feel free to just let us know. Sounds good. Um, you have a restroom right there. Like those nope. bagels and stuff. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Awesome. And then Wardrobe will come in in just a second to discuss clothing options with you, okay? Sounds good. All right, boys. So this is my room. I get my own little room in here, boys. Shout out Dr. Phil, boys. We are literally about to go on TV today, boys. Let's freaking go. First time on TV. I don't even need this anymore. And we're going to be chilling on Dr. Phil's YouTube channel, which is super dope, guys. But I'm not sure how much I'm going to film, but I'm definitely going to film as much as possible. I'm like, bro, if I'm going on the show, I better be able to film some stuff, you know? So, guys, stay tuned. Drop a like, subscribe. No one's ever done this. I don't think anybody's ever, like, filmed them going on Dr. Phil like I am, boys. So, drop a like, boys. Show some love. This is insane. This is a little sneak peek on what goes on behind the scenes, boys. And it's about to happen. So, I'll let you know when my hair and makeup guy gets here and the dresser or whatever. I don't know who's coming, but yeah, I'll let you know. Hey, Jack. You're going to meet with, like, Christian, our talent coordinator. He's going to come in and explain some legal paperwork to you. Uh -huh. We're, we're going to have you meet with, like, wardrobe hair and makeup stuff like that and then i'll come in and talk to you and like go over the show with you okay Sounds good. so you. if you need anything do not hesitate you can just pop your head out ask for like me christian anybody if you want breakfast drinks coffee like just let us know okay thank you Sounds good. i brought some stuff for you some jackets all right these look like something yeah. you would wear Definitely. wonderful all right boys so these are the options we got this we got this right here we got this jacket a bunch of shirts another little jacket and then a pair of jeans but i want to stick with my jeans i like my jeans so i think i'm gonna stick with these jeans right here all right boys so they brought me a sandwich some more shoes to try on so let's try on some clothes boys getting hair and makeup done right <laughs> Just vlogging. So the lady did my hair and I low-key think I look stupid. Like, this just ain't it. I look like a little mop. So I'm gonna fix that myself. Alright, boys. So this is the final fit. Look at this. Looks dope. Got my hair all fixed up and everything. But yeah, now they're about to take me to do my makeup. I might see you guys there. Let's go. Alright, guys. Makeup is done. Thank you. I look great. Let's go. Dad, Let's looking go. sharp, dude. Thank you. Nice job, sir. Thank you, Dr. Phil. Yeah, shout out Dr. Phil, huh? Alright, boys. We're parting ways. I'm hopping back in my room, boys. Just got hair and makeup done. Got my fit ready, boys. And now the stage manager is about to come pick me up. And he said I can't bring my phone or my camera, guys. So until after the episode, I guess this is it, boys. I will miss you guys. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. No one has ever done this, I don't think, where they did like a behind the scenes of Dr. Phil. I'm one of the only people, guys. And hopefully I don't get in trouble for this because everybody that I talked to said I'm allowed to film. I just can't post anything until the Dr. Phil episode actually comes. Out. Yeah, guys, I'll let you know. This is better be insane. I'm nervous. Drop a like, subscribe if you are new, guys. This is absolutely insane. I love you guys so much. Thank you for this opportunity, and I will see you guys when the stage manager comes to get me. We'll do one standing, one sitting, okay? All right, sit up tall. One, two, three. Great. I'm gonna send it. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey guys, my mom's gonna be doing over Zoom due to like COVID restrictions, and I think they got my brother to do it as well last night. So pretty much my whole family's gonna be in the Dr. Phil episode because of me, which is crazy. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. This Dr. Phil episode is gonna be crazy. Let's go. Bro, Michael is literally on the Dr. Phil episode right now, guys. All right, good luck, Mike. Dang, boys, this is actually happening. Like, this is all crazy, boys. My mom has literally said that, like, she had to put Major downstairs so they can't hear him barking. They had to take pictures off the. But have the upside if you just challenge yourself to do things at, like at, a, at a different level. You know, your question for me was, you know, do I think what you're doing is okay or whatever? Yeah. I, I think you're, I, I think you're energetic and I think you're a hard worker. I think if you would morph things into uh, being more creative and. I think they're so creative. No one's ever done those types of stuff. Okay, we're done here. I'm sorry. Um. You're not gonna lie, it's crazy how he invites me on his show and gets mad at me every single time I talk. Like, do you want me to sit there in silence or like, do you want me to talk? Cause I have no idea why he brought me on the show if he got mad at me for every single time I talk. But that obviously shows that Dr. Phil's playing a character and he's just grumpy for like his character that he's playing, I guess. And he's just trying to make me look as bad as possible and it's funny. Saying I'm like not creative, even though we were talking about a video that nobody's ever done before. And everybody laughed at it and thought it was super funny and he cut it all out of the video, guys, because his goal is to make me look as bad as possible and did a great job of that. So, but like at the end of the day, I don't really care. Mans couldn't even give me any good advice he just was the biggest capper ever but whatever the wall like hide all branding kind of like this oh hello are you ready to go we're gonna go get your mic right now okay all right boys so i just got all mic'd up as you can see right there and it goes back right in there and uh i think we're ready to go i think the stage manager is about to come get me i'll see you guys after but i'll play some clips from the show right now see you guys wish me luck drop a like subscribe if you're from dr phil please subscribe dr phil i love you so much follow me on all social medias guys wish me luck drop a like do all that good stuff text me at 917-540-6160 even if you hate me text me boys i'll respond but uh yeah love you guys i'll see you after the episode
Oh my god, boys. We literally just wrapped up the show. Dr. Phil, I'm not gonna lie, is a grouch. I don't know if it's just like his persona for the show or something, but bro, I had such a smile on my face the whole time, like laughing, like enjoy myself, you know, like trying to have a nice conversation, like smile with him. But Dr. Phil, oh my god, was like so negative, like looking at everything so negatively. Like, I don't know why people watch this guy. Like, I'm sorry to support Dr. Phil. Like, I'm still gonna watch him. Like, I'm still gonna support him. But like, he got mad at me at the end because I was literally just like trying to have a conversation with him. Like, I'm sorry, like that. It's not like a listening game. Like, I'm trying to like ask you questions and talk to you, and he's like getting so like, oh my god, Dr. I feel like what the heck I need water bro Hey guys, literally like this man was like, bro, he was getting like so mad over nothing. Like I literally at the end, like he like ended the show because like trying to give me advice saying like I could be more creative. I'm like, literally no one's done the stuff I've done. Like he was talking about a certain video, how I could be more creative and do something else. I'm like, more creative? This no one's done this. Like this is so creative. Everyone I've talked to said it was such a good idea. I obviously didn't say that, but like he's like going on and on and on. Like I have a lot to say. Like no hate towards Dr. Phil, obviously, but like bro, like let's be real. Like he's a grouch. Like I don't know if it's like him just naturally, like if he's doing it for the show, but like he was being very grouchy and very negative and very hard to get along with. Like I was smiling, having a great time. Like literally had a smile on my face the whole time like enjoying myself like having a great time and he's like just being very very grouchy so i don't know i honestly don't know like i'm trying my best here like obviously i'm not like a disrespectful kid off camera guys like i'm literally like i do it for my videos so, you know i can play a part or whatever but like i'm still like sort of similar on camera and off camera but like i'm the same type of person but i just bring out the, like the rudeness or something for the video you know you know what i'm trying to say like, i'm not an asshole guys like i do nice things for people also but this man like would do anything to make it look super 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 negative oh my god but dr phil whatever yo mike my brother's calling me yo what's good hello bro isn't he like such a grouch Ooh. dr phil he's so Negative. What do you mean? Bro, he got mad at me at the end because I had a smile on my face the whole time. Like, I wasn't being mean or nothing at all. And he was just like, I don't know. Like, he just didn't. I don't know. It's probably because I'm a kid or whatever. Like, he just doesn't vibe with me. But, I, you know, it's the vibes. That was funny. Wait, so. That was funny. Well, so he was trying to give me advice. And he's like, all right. And that's the show. Because I tried to, like, interrupt him. But I was, like, trying to have a conversation with him. Like, that's the whole goal of the show, you know, to learn from him. But every time I tried to talk, he would get all butthurt and, like, negative. You know why I think it was? Because I'm good at defending myself. This show, I watched whatever they did. They replayed my words in the interview and trying to make me look like such a bad person. And I'm like, bro, like, in my head, like, yo, I'm gonna defend myself. Like, this is not who I am. Like, come on. And, like, whenever I would defend myself, he would try and come at me 10 times harder, like, to try and make him look good. Like, bruh, Dr. Phil, I'm not gonna lie, bro. We gotta talk. Like, come on now. Literally, like, this man would make me look like such a bad person. And then I would defend myself and I would be right. And then he would go, like, nah, 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 like, say all this type of stuff. But yeah, guys, I don't know. I was smiling. Like, you see the episode? I was smiling, like, having a great time. And, like, I love you, Dr. Phil, but I'm not, like, a bad person or anything. But, like, I don't know. I think he was taking things a little that too far for the buzz. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna go. I was talking to my dad, like, on the way back, walking over here. So I'm gonna get his opinions in a second, but I just gotta change out of outfit, leave this room, get the hell out of this place, boys, and then go back to Garvin's house. That's what I was gonna say, like, I can't control him, but, like, basically, like, you did great. Like, I yeah. you were awesome. Thank you. He um, is tough to get along. I know. He's, he's a pretty he's negative like, person. He's like, he's like a strict dad. Like, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Idea. Didn't it's smile just, like, one time. <laughs> <laughs> but it was not happening. I honestly, I thought you were great. Thank you. I Basically, tried. I just spoke to your dad and he was on board with this. Your mom was on the phone too. So I just want to make sure you're cool with it. Uh -huh. We were thinking like we'd like to like have you film the apology, like when you go home and like apologize yeah, yeah, to yeah, Cameron. Yeah. Like we want to have you film it so we can add that into the episode. Sounds like, good. Cool yeah. That. yeah, I'm down. Okay, send it over to us and we'll edit it and put it into the show. Cool. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, boys. But as I was saying, they want me to apologize to the Karen, so stay tuned for that video. But yeah, guys, Dr. Real like doesn't crack a smile one time, like so rude, like I don't know where you're like, yo. You know, I'm trying to be like his friend or something like that, you know? But, uh, hey, I try my best, boys. Try to make it entertaining as well. Like, I could have just sat there and be like, yeah, I've been super, super respectful, but I gotta give Dr. Phil a banger video, you know? I gotta give him a banger video to post, boys, so I gotta do what I gotta do. And yeah, boys, I'm about to remove the makeup right now, but stay tuned for my dad's reaction, guys. I'm gonna film him when I talk to him right now, so yeah. Alright, boys, I'm ready to hit the dip spot. Dr. Phil, if you're watching this, shout out to Julie. Like, Julie was so freaking dope. Like, yo, Dr. Phil, literally give Julie a raise. Like, double her income, bro. She's so dope. Alright, Dad, what were your thoughts on the episode? I thought it went really well. I thought you did a great job. Thank you. You did good. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Yeah, but some of the arrogance was not good. Dad, it's for the content, man. I'm not I'm actually not. like that. You piece of shit. I'm just yeah, imagine. Sorry. Dad, I'm joking. I'm a jokester, man. All right, well, me and Dr. Phil need to hop in a boxing match real quick, huh? No, million no. dollars each. Guaranteed. Just kidding. Okay. Big banger. We're all set. Let's go, Dr. Okay, Phil. Well done. Good job. Thank you, sir. I love you. Off we go, boys. That's a wrap. That's a wrap, boys. My mom's on the phone. She just called mom. How'd it go? Oh, Jack. First of all, I want to tell you, you look amazing. I look amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you my makeup. The first on Dr. Phil, I was proud. Thank you. I think you did very good, Mom. I think yeah. it's all great. Like, it, it will make a great show for Dr. Phil. Even Michael said he is proud of you, too. Thank you. Yeah, boys, shout out to you guys for watching the videos. Otherwise, you would not be able to go on Dr. Phil. Guys, I thought it was so funny that Dr. Phil was trying to come at me for telling my viewers to like and subscribe, which is completely free and does nothing. Meanwhile, every single YouTuber you'll ever watch kindly ask you guys to hit the like and subscribe button, just like I do. And he does the same exact thing at the end of his videos.
not want to miss what I've got coming up. It's funny how he tries to make anything that I do look negative. It's insane. But like that's their he that's their show. He, he did compliment me, but it's crazy how they will try and turn anything into a negative thing. Meanwhile, he's being hypocrite and does the exact same thing I do, which is so funny. But like I don't know. I thought that was very funny of you, Dr. Phil, to do that. Boys, I will see you at Gavin's house. All right, guys, so we are back at Gavin's, as you can see. And, guys, that was pretty crazy. I don't know, Dr. Phil is definitely not the guy you'd be friends with. Definitely really selective. I don't know. I don't know if that's just a persona for the YouTube videos. Like, man didn't smile one time. I honestly didn't even go on the show for help. Like, I don't need help with anything. Like, I'm chilling, boys. My manager was like, yo, you want to hop on the show? I was like, sure, let's go real quick, boys. So, guys, if you are new to the channel from Dr. Phil, make sure you like and subscribe. Only because Dr. Phil had a problem with that, apparently, even though he literally says that at the end of all his videos. So, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap up the video. If you guys want to see my parents react to the episode, because we haven't even seen it yet, because I'm filming this outro in California and I'm gonna be home when the episode comes out so if you want to see us react to the actual episode guys if we haven't seen it yet you guys have seen a little bit of it in this video because I'm not allowed to upload this video until the episode comes out if you want to see a video where I react to it where my parents react to it guys make sure you smash the like button right now subscribe do all that good stuff boys thank you so much for watching the videos guys I appreciate it I can finally go home tomorrow because I've been here for a while and I miss home so badly but I'm grinding out the content for you guys so thank you so much for all the love and support make sure your notifications are on so you don't miss the video where we react to the Dr. Phillips so guys so yeah I'll see you guys in the next video peace out